In this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a perplexity space with best practices in less than five minutes, as this is one of many great use cases with perplexity AI. So be sure to stick around for the full video. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan. And the reality here is that AI is going to replace millions of marketers and content creators, but it doesn't have to be you. And if you want to stay ahead, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. This includes my favorite AI tools, prompts, templates, and more. You can get my free guide in the video description or pin comment below. If you've never used Perplexity Spaces, these are customized versions of Perplexity, which is an AI powered search engine. These are very comparable to chat GPT projects or even Claude projects, as you can organize all of your different chats, you can add custom instructions, you can upload files and just get more customized results using a space versus the home screen of Perplexity. Another huge benefit of a perplexity space is the ability to use multiple AI models within one platform. This includes Claude models, GPT models, Google Gemini models, Grok 3, their own customized version of DeepSeek R1, and so much more. And perplexity spaces are free to create. The big caveat here is that you're very limited with how many files you can upload on the free plan. And also on the free plan, you can only use Sonar, which is Perplexity's model by default. You can't use these other AI models if you're using the free version of Perplexity. So now let's create a Perplexity space. And in this example, I'm using Perplexity Pro and I'm going to be creating a space for AI research as research is one of Perplexity's best strengths in my opinion. So from the home screen of Perplexity, go ahead and click Spaces. Now there are several templates and you can use one of these if you want, but if you wanna create your own custom space, hover over Spaces and then click the plus icon right here. Name it whatever you want. I'm gonna do AI research assistant, you can even give it an emoji. So I'm gonna click a smiley face, give it a description if you wanna do that. Now for custom instructions, I have some instructions ready to go here for my perplexity space. I'm gonna copy and paste those, dump them in here, click continue. And if you don't know where to start with these instructions, I have several prompts, including research prompts inside my prompts database in my marketing community. I will leave a link to this below. It's only a dollar to join. So I'd recommend checking that out. Now, once your space is created, the next step is we need to add context. I'm gonna click context, and this is where we can upload files. I'm gonna upload some files. I'm gonna click add files. And in this example, I'm going to upload the following files. I'm gonna upload two SOPs that are from my marketing agency for market research and keyword research, as that's what I'm going to be using this space a lot for. Now, something to note is you get up to 50 files, 25 megabits each. You only get up to five on the free plan of perplexity. Now, something unique here is that we can also add links. So if I click the links tab, copy and paste my website, click add links. This is really unique about spaces on perplexity. You cannot add links in chat GPT projects, Claude projects, custom GPTs, etc. So that right there very quickly is how you create a perplexity space. And of course you can fine tune this over time, but if you're a member of Perplexity Pro, be sure to leverage the Pro Search feature and also start to leverage these other models that you get to use inside one interface. If you made it through this quick tutorial, I appreciate you. If you found value, be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, also leave me a comment below. But most importantly, I hope you all have a great day.